I'm Christopher Kornrick, also known as the Refrigerator. How many times have you gone into your fridge or pantry and basically can't find anything to eat? Or what's worse, that unexpected guest that just shows up and you don't have time to cook? Well, I'm here to tell you, I bet you've got great food, herbs, and spices to whip up an appetizer or even a main course. Now today, we're visiting with Andres and Diona, and they're just in that predicament. So let's go to their kitchen and see what we can put together that's delicious and nutritious. Let's go raid their fridge. Diona? Thank goodness you're here, Christopher. Come on in. Hi, how are you? What a great kitchen. Thank you. My sister and my brother-in-law are coming in about an hour and we don't have anything in the house to fix. I bet you do. One hour? One okay, hour. well, let me ask you, what kind of people are they? What are they like? They're pretty plain, meat and potatoes. Is that normally like just kind of basic American type yeah. of food? Well, if you don't mind then, how about if I take a look and raid your refrigerator in your pantry? Your All right. Do you have much in here? I don't think so. You don't have much in here. <laughs> I told you. Okay, but wait a minute. You know, you have a lot of condiments, which is good because if you have things that are like a blank canvas, you can jazz them up with condiments. Well, They're gonna be here in an hour, out. right? Yeah. All right, I got an idea. You ready? Okay. Take this. Do we have carrots? Carrots? Carrots. Mustard. Okay. Relish chutney pantry here right, right okay here, yes. soy sauce soy whoa paprika red pepper fennel seed thank you oregano are you italian no <laughs> you got a lot of ice and some hot old dog hot dog buns. buns we're going to cook potatoes and we're going to make potato salad okay okay so we have chutney and we have stone ground mustard, and we're gonna put those together with the potatoes, okay? With onion, carrots. Guess what we're gonna do with these? Are you ready? Think back when you had an open mind, okay? Hot dogs. Hot dogs? I'm not kidding you. We're going to make hot dogs out of these. We don't have time to put the grill marks on them. If you had the grill marks, nobody would be the wiser. They would think you were in New York and pulled it off a street. Shape of a hot dog, about the size. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, we're gonna cook those potatoes up. Soy sauce is actually going to give the hot dogs kind of a salty flavor. And now, how much are you putting in there? Just a quarter of a cup. We're gonna put in some of this vegetable broth. Okay, we're gonna put in a, a cup. So, okay. Because we're gonna make six hot dogs. And we're gonna put in about two teaspoons of fennel seed, okay? We're gonna cook this, and with the spice, the paprika, okay. that's gonna change the color. And so we've got all that done. We do a few shakes of some pepper. And Andres, I want you to feel like you were part. Yes, absolutely. Here, how about squeezing this garlic in there? Right. Have you ever used one of these? Okay, he's handy. No, he has not. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna go put this on the stove for seven minutes. Okay. And the potatoes, we're gonna cook those really fast for five minutes and steam them. And then you're gonna add your, your seasoning to it and just stir it up and then put that in the refrigerator. And then when you pull it out of the refrigerator, they just think, oh, you just always have food like this around all the time. Oh my goodness, Christopher, this is amazing. Wow, Christopher, this is great. In case your friends ask you, well, where are we gonna get our protein? Just to let you know, this particular meal with the potatoes and everything contains over 15 grams of protein. Oh, that's them. Thank you so much, Christopher. My pleasure. Have fun. I enjoyed so it. Have a great time. Enjoy your Thank hot dogs. You. Bye.